Now, there have been a few times that my wife and I have been driving down the road and our daughters will be in the back and they'll see a beef cow on the side of the road and they'll say, Dad, is that where the milk that we drink comes from? And I'll say, well, no, not really. But Dave, why is there a difference between beef milk and dairy milk? Not a lot. Mm -hmm. Beef cow doesn't produce near as much right. milk as a dairy cow. You know, a dairy cow is going to produce six to eight gallons of milk a day. A beef cow, maybe maybe two to four. Mm -hmm. um, as far as composition, a dairy cow's milk is going to contain about 4.8% lactose, and it's very consistent lactose concentration, almost never changes. Uh, in that gallon of milk, uh, you'd have about uh, dairy milk, you'd have about 3.4% fat mm -hmm. and about 3.4% protein. The only difference in a beef cow milk is that it's, it's more concentrated in fat. It's going to be closer to about 4% fat. So of all of that, how does, how does the, the I, I want to use the word moisture content, but the, the, the water amount play yeah, into well, that? It's mostly water and that's why those nutrient values sound kind of low right. because milk is 87 percent water okay if you take all the water out you're left with a pound of powdered milk or wow. concentrated nutrients so it's 87 uh, percent water now you've got a pound left in that jug that's 37 percent lactose 31 percent right. fat and about 26 percent protein so you add all those up and other than the minerals, mm -hmm. which would be about 6%, you're right at 100. So it is extremely concentrated in nutrients. How much input is there to make that, that same amount of fluid? You know, uh, milk production is actually, the production of milk itself is actually quite efficient. Mm -hmm. So for example, that to produce this one more gallon of milk a day in a beef cow, we think it takes somewhere around two and a half pounds of high quality grass hay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's two and a half pounds of a dry hay to produce one pound of the powdered nutrients, right? Okay. Yeah. So not, not including the water. Yeah. Uh, if you put that on a corn equivalent, so concentrate feed, for mm -hmm. example, uh, about a pound and a quarter of corn to produce one pound of concentrated nutrients that's efficient wow okay now so the issue isn't the efficiency of milk production itself mm -hmm. the issue is the conversion of pounds of milk produced to calf weight gain mm -hmm. and that's where we run into problems in the beef cattle industry is particularly let's say in the summertime when you have high quality forage you're kind of swapping uh, m more milk mm -hmm and, and re well, increasing milk intake of the calf and reducing high quality forage intake. That conversion is not as efficient. Very interesting. Well, and, and we're out here at the North Range covering this right now. You're, you have an event coming up here in, a, uh, I guess, next week? We do, it, December 18th. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're gonna have a field day and, and what we're gonna focus on is efficiency of feeding hay. We're gonna, we're gonna look at different types of hay feeders and actually demonstrate hay waste and, and also we're going to have a fencing demonstration. So the fencing with the with the, the swords and all that? No, no, not no. Not that no. kind of fencing. Electric fencing. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Now there's an, Olymp <laughs> an Olympic sport. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That would be interesting. Well, thank you very much, Dave. And for more information on that event, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.